surface tension, capillary action, viscosity. Have you ever wondered how intermolecular forces affect the properties of liquid? Hello, SciFals! I am Ma'am Lisette Marquez, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hab, we will describe the properties of liquids and explain how intermolecular forces affect them. Moreover, we will identify the applications of these properties in our daily life. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another ah moment. Remember that matter is composed of molecules. In particular, the molecules of liquid are quite close together and move with random motion. The attractive forces between molecules of liquid are strong enough to hold a specific volume, but not strong enough to keep the molecules sliding over each other. This phenomenon is due to the property of liquids brought by the strength of attractive forces between molecules. Ah! Let us now describe the different properties of liquid. First is surface tension. It is the measure of the elastic force in the surface of a liquid. It is also the amount of energy required to increase the surface of a liquid by unit area. Further, it is manifested as some sort of skin on the surface of a liquid. These are some scenarios where surface tension is observable. Floating razor blade on water. Drops of liquid on a coin. Water beads on an apple. And dewdrops. Ah! Second is viscosity. It is the measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. Let us observe how condensed milk, oil, and water flow as we tilt the container. Notice the difference on the movement of each liquid. Meanwhile, this table gives the viscosities of some pure substances. Ah! Another property is capillary action. It is the tendency of a liquid to rise in narrow tubes or be drawn into small openings such as those between grains of a rock. Capillary action, also known as capillarity, is a result of intermolecular attraction between the liquid and solid materials. There are two types of forces that are involved in capillary action. First is cohesion. It is the intermolecular attraction between like molecules. Second is adhesion. It is an intermolecular attraction between unlike molecules. These forces also define the meniscus or the shape of the surface of a liquid in a cylindrical container. Did you know when the cohesive forces between the liquid molecules are less than the adhesive forces between the liquid and the walls of the container, the surface of the liquid is concave. Water in a glass container is an example of this phenomenon. On the other hand, when the cohesive forces between the liquid molecules are greater than the adhesive forces 
between the liquid and the walls of the container, the surface of the liquid is convex. An example of this is mercury inside a container. When both adhesive and cohesive forces are equal, the surface is horizontal. A distilled water in a silver vessel is its example. Plants use capillary action to bring water up the roots and stems to the rest of the plants. Capillary action can also be observed in blood transfusion. Ah! The fourth property is the vapor pressure. Vapor pressure or equilibrium vapor pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by a vapor that is in thermodynamic equilibrium with the condensed space at a given temperature in a closed system. In addition, it increases with temperature. Moreover, the vapor pressure is independent on the amount of liquid as well as the surface area of the liquid in contact with the gas. Ah! Next is the molar heat of vaporization. It is the energy required to vaporize one mole of a liquid at a given temperature. The last one is the boiling point. It is the temperature when the liquid converts to gas, when the external pressure is one atmosphere. The normal boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of a liquid depends on the external pressure. For example, at one atmosphere, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. But if the pressure is reduced to 0.5 atmosphere, water boils at only 82 degrees Celsius. Ah! Now, let us explain the effects of intermolecular forces to these properties. In surface tension, Molecules within a liquid are pulled in all directions by intermolecular forces. Molecules at the surface are pulled downward and sideways by other molecules, not upward away from the surface. These intermolecular forces tend to pull the molecules into the liquid and cause the surface to tighten like an elastic film or skin. Simply, Liquids that have strong intermolecular forces also have high surface tension. Thus, surface tension is temperature dependent. It decreases as temperature increases. Ah! Let us move on to viscosity. Liquids with strong intermolecular forces have higher viscosities than those that have weak intermolecular forces. When viscosity is so high that it cannot flow anymore, the matter is said to be glassy. Further, the opposite of viscosity is fluidity. Highly fluid liquid is said to be free-flowing. In addition, when subjected to higher temperature, viscosity decreases. Ah! Let us relate vapor pressure to the strength of intermolecular forces. When liquids evaporate, the molecules must have sufficient energy to break the attractive forces that hold them in the liquid state. The stronger these intermolecular forces are, the greater the amount of energy needed to break them. For some substances with weak intermolecular forces, the energy requirement is easily obtained from collisions with other molecules and absorption of energy from the surroundings. Many molecules can vaporize, resulting in a high vapor pressure. For molecules with strong intermolecular forces, gathering enough energy may not be as easy and register low vapor pressures. We can conclude that the stronger the intermolecular forces of attraction, 
the lower the vapor pressure of a liquid. In relation to temperature, let us see this graph. We can observe that as the temperature increases, the vapor pressure of water also increases. When temperature is high, more molecules have enough energy to escape from the liquid. At a lower temperature, fewer molecules have sufficient energy to escape from the liquid. What do you think is the relationship between boiling point and molar heat of vaporization in terms of intermolecular forces? That's right! They are related to each other in a way that the higher the molar heat of vaporization, the higher the boiling point. The boiling points of substances often reflect the strength of the intermolecular forces operating among the molecules. When liquid is boiling, enough energy must be supplied to overcome the attractive forces among molecules before they can enter the vapor phase. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hab, we describe the properties of liquids and explain how intermolecular forces affect them. We also identify the applications of these properties in our daily life. Take note of the following key points. Number one, surface tension is the measure of the elastic force in the surface of a liquid. This property can be observed in floating razor blade on water, drops of liquid on a coin, water beads on an apple, and dew drops. Number two, viscosity is the measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. It can be observed in the flow of different liquids such as condensed milk, water, and oil. Number three, capillary action is the tendency of a liquid to rise in a narrow tubes or be drawn into small openings such as those between grains of a rock. This property can be observed in plants as water is brought up to the roots and stem to the rest of the plant. It can also be observed in blood transfusion. Number four, vapor pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by a vapor that is in thermodynamic equilibrium with the condensed space at a given temperature in a closed system. Number five, Molar heat of vaporization is the energy required to vaporize one mole of a liquid at a given temperature. Number six, boiling point is the temperature when liquid converts to gas when the external pressure is one atmosphere. Ah! That's all for today's SciPals. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another Ah Moment. Only here in Agham Alam Hub, Palajan SciTech Portal. Bye!